Dear Christian friends, you are welcome to this presentation and prayer on sincerity. I'm Elder Prospado from Healing Christian Center, United Kingdom. Presentation will be covering faithfulness, truth, sincerity in rendering the charismatic services, sincerity in marriage and the Lord's service, sincerity in seeking deliverance. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We'll continue with prayer points for reflection, personal testimony, decree God's blessing on our children, walking in God's purpose, call forth your lost and stolen breakthroughs. Some introduction, there are some related words and scriptures for sincerity. So refer to faithfulness as in Revelation 2.10 and Psalm 91 verse 4. Truth is also a related word to sincerity, which we find in John chapter 4 verse 24 and 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 32 to 35 and Mark chapter 1 verse 21 to 28. Faithfulness, Revelations 2.10, do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested and you will have tribulation. Ten days, be faithful until death and I'll give you the crown of life. So we pray even at this time, Lord even for those who have been going through for the sake of the gospel and as Christians for Jesus Christ's sake, through suffering, we pray that God will not give up, will be encouraged by even the hope that we have that will receive the crown of life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Psalm 91 verse 4 also says, He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings. You shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Truth is another word which is related to sincerity. John 4 24. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 32 to 35. But I want you to be without care. He who is unmarried cares for the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But he who is married cares about the things of the world, how he may please his wife. There is a difference between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman cares about the things of the Lord that she may be holy both in body and in spirit. But she who is married cares about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. And this I say for your own profit, not that I may put a leash on you, but for what is good and that you may serve without distraction father in the name of jesus we pray for all men and women especially married that father will not even sacrifice our marriage but lord will also be focused and be able to commit our marriages even unto the lord that you'll be the center of our marriage that both men and women together as a couple will be united in the calling that you have called us in Jesus name amen mark 1 27 to 28 then they were all amazed so that they questioned among themselves saying what is this what new doctrine is this for with authority he commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him and immediately his fame spread through all the region around Galilee.
Sincerity in rendering the charismatic services. Be faithful, speak the truth, and be sincere. It's in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 to 20. A new prophet like Moses. The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst. From your brethren, him you shall hear according to all you desired of the Lord your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, nor let me see this great fire any more, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, What they have spoken is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you, from among their children, their brethren, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And it shall be that whoever will not hear my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet shall die. And there's punishment also for apostates in Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 1 to 5. If there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer, of dreams and he gives you a sign or a wonder and the sign or the wonder comes to pass of which he spoke to you saying let us go after other gods which you have not known and to serve them you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. You shall serve him and hold on to him. But that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken in order to turn you away from the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of bondage to entice you from the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. So you shall keep away the evil from you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that we'll be sincere even in rendering the charismatic services, especially the gifts of prophecy, that will speak only what you have spoken and give us the spirit of discernment of spirit that will be able to know the truth from the false prophecies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Also, Matthew 24, 24, Jesus says, For false Christ." And false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. The second point of note is sincerity in marriage and the Lord's service. The question about marriage is why do I want to marry for those who have not married? And those who have married, why did you marry? Will I give adequate attention to my partner? Or am I giving adequate attention to my partner? And the Lord's work, ask yourself, why do I want to work for the Lord? Why do I want to do that work for the Lord? And how to overcome even distractions is to know the purpose of God for our lives. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future 
and a hope. So we pray, Lord, for all married couples that God will know the reason for marriage, that God will be the center, and all for your calling on our lives, that we shall know why we are doing what we are doing, why we are in church, and also be able to overcome all the distractions, even that go around us, knowing that you have good thoughts for us, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give us a future and a hope. Amen. Third point is sincerity in seeking deliverance from demon control and influence from witchcraft. Acts chapter 19 verses 18 to 19. And many who had believed came confessing and telling their deeds. Also many of those who had practiced magic brought their books together and burned them in the midst of all and they counted up the value of them and in total 50,000 pieces of silver. Father, we pray that people, even as your word goes out, will meet sincere hearts, that there will be a transformation, and people will receive you as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The fourth point here is our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we need to be sincere with our body. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? John 8, 34. Jesus answered them, Most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. Father, we pray at this time that we will use our bodies even in the right way. Father, we come against any wrong use of our bodies, O oh Lord, even in the name of Jesus, addictions and things that are destroying our bodies physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, we demolish in Jesus' name. All the indulgences, O oh Lord, that are not useful for us. Transform all Koreana Sherike Babe, all those who are caught in these addictions and lapses and relapses. We pray at this time, O God, you have mercy, O God, and bring restoration in the name of Jesus. The spirit of gambling and various addictions, we pray in Jesus' name. The spirit of fornication, adultery, O Kalebabe. Soturubabo, Soturubabe, the Kambe, Sitalababa, Soturubabo, Kuriana, Shialababa, Rekabe, Soturubabe. Restore, restore, restore. In Jesus' name we pray and grant us, O Lord, by your blood, even the breakthrough, genuine repentance, O Lord, godly sorrow that will work repentance, that will receive you as Lord and Savior of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Some prayer points for reflection. One is to avoid the insincere show off of others who pretend to know the word of God when they are ignorant and pretend that they are powerful when they are not. This is for reflection for us. The next for reflection is be sincere in your commitment to Christ. Are you truly committed? This is a personal question. Or are you following the crowd, merely fulfilling social, religious expectations? Are you men pleases or God pleases? There was a, this is a personal testimony of someone why he took a break from the prophetic was to give more time to teaching sound doctrine and to avoid pressures from those who call you their prophet and to teach them how to be their own prophet so you can enjoy your rest in Christ. Father, we pray at this time that we will not be so much dependent on personalities of God even the culture of personalities worship. Father, we pray that you be Lord, O oh God. And we pray that even every gift you have given us, O oh Lord, 
you are the giver of the gift and will direct people to you and not to us that we are just a vessel O oh lord unto honor father that celebrity culture that is coming up in certain sections of the church we demolish in jesus name that we might decrease that you might increase we pray in the name of jesus that will teach people even how to come to you directly and lord you will give them strength and we all together will be uh, growing even to be into the likeness and image of our lord jesus christ there may be different personalities but we are all one in one spirit in christ jesus let jesus be our standard and not human beings in jesus name we pray amen some declaration verses before we come to the declarations luke chapter 8 verse 49 to 56 while he was still speaking someone from the ruler's house came and said your daughter is dead do not trouble the teacher anymore but jesus on hearing this answered him do not fear only believe and she will live and when he came to the house he allowed no one to enter with him except peter and john and james and the father and mother of the child and all weeping and mourning for her but he said do not weep for she is not dead but sleeping and they laughed at him knowing that she was dead but taking her by the hand he called saying child arise and her spirit returned and she got up at once and he directed that something should be given her to eat and her parents were amazed but he charged them to tell no one what had happened we pray in declaration we decree god's blessing on our children i decree the blessing of god over every plan and goal for our children in this year i decree all our children shall be taught of the lord i decree our children shall be for signs and wonders they shall walk in obedience i decree that every promise of the lord concerning our children will not fall to the ground but it shall be fulfilled in jesus name amen we decree god's blessing on our children i decree that our children will have personal intimate relationship with god and the fear of the lord will be evident in their daily walk with god i decree in jesus name that our children will not be a source of affliction but a testimony to god's grace i decree none of our children will bring shame to the name of the lord i decree that no generational curse shall have any effect upon our children in jesus name amen declaration walking in god's purpose lord jesus i will not miss your will i will reach my promised land i am not a quitter oh lord help me to position myself for your molding and your work in me by the grace of god i shall fulfill the purpose of god for my life family and ministry declaration calling forth your lost and stolen breakthroughs i call forth all my treasures that the enemy has stolen i receive them in this very year of restoration in the name of jesus i call forth the blessings of the lord on all my projects in this year there shall be no abandoned projects time and life wasting projects on my way in this year in jesus name amen and fifthly we call forth even every loss and stolen breakthrough i call for the anointing for creativity in my business and my ministry to fall on me powerfully in jesus name i call forth my lost and stolen financial breakthrough in jesus name i call forth an accelerating breakthrough on my way this year in jesus name i call forth prosperity around my home in jesus name i call for divine wisdom and understanding that will bring about success in jesus name 
Amen. We thank you, Lord, even for sincerity, in faithfulness, and in truth, and for answered prayer. We give you glory. And thank you, dear friend, for praying along. And we pray that you share this even with others on your contact list. Be blessed.